Okay, so my original plan was to hit that dock, but uh, the gate over there has a lock and it's locked. We've been here a couple times before. Um, I wanted to walk down this way, see if I see anything really crazy hanging in these trees, but I guess somebody could get to that if uh, they needed to, thankfully. Get their stuff out of the tree. Um, we see something green over there. Dead center of the screen over there. It's a lot bigger in person than it is on the screen. And uh, we're going to see what we fool up. I really don't want to try and throw right here because of all these rocks. I don't want to get stuck. Um, I'm kind of by myself today. Uh, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. We will get that can out of the water if I can. Without having to grab my magnet out. I think I can reach that because that needs to come out right this second. Our first find is this paint can. Um, so I kind of taking a second to look here, see if we see anything else we can get floating in the water. I'd like to get all this trash out to tell you the truth, but uh, it may prove a little harder than initially thought. One of these days, I'll hold a cleanup. And we are going to go to the top, go to the bridge there and try and cast out a little bit. And we're going to look over at these trees. Because I know this spot is heavily fished. Oh. So, let's go see what we can find, y'all. And we got to be careful of this bridge because it's a steel bridge. We'll be back. Okay. Some things I want to show y'all for cold weather magnet fishing. A little bit of some tips from me. Get you some rubber gloves to put on underneath your uh, regular gloves. Because when it's cold like this, it sucks getting your hands wet. I do know. Believe me. So, just do that. And then throw your regular gloves. Oh, that's the other hand. Over them. Like so. And uh, we got the magnet in the water. I'm going to have to pull it out. I didn't think it was as tangled as it was, but it is. But you don't lose any uh, movement in your hands or anything. And I have uh, Arctic Military Air Force gloves in my backpack. So when my, your hands are still going to get cold, but they won't get wet, which just makes it so much worse. All right. Who's ready for their checkup? <laughs> All right, let's go fiddle with this magnet and see what we have on here. Uh, if we have anything, I'll show y'all. But that's my little tip. And we'll be back. Okay, our first finds of the day are a little lure, cam ring, and some scrappy bits. We'll take the lure off. Might be a good lure. And we'll take that off. Let's put that right there real quick. Clean. Oop. Little nail head right there. Okay. So I may have forgot to tell you the plan for today. The plan is we're going to walk down there, see what we find. If anything at all, we're going to look for lures. We're going to magnet fish. Um... We're going to go to some spots where people hang out. Some people do bad things at. So there's a chance there could be some stuff there. And all in all, everybody, we're just going to see what treasures we find today. We've already found one lure and some scrap. A very busy road next to this. 
and uh, we'll see if we find anything else. Okay, we got our first lure stuck in a tree, and we can get it out. There it goes. Look at that one, y'all. Oh, it's a couple of soft baits. I'll put them on. We got the string out of the tree, and we got the lure. Okay, on this concrete brick now. And we just pulled up a ooh, piece of rebar with a fishing weight on it. Cool. So there's our sheep for the day there, Topaz. He just had his one year anniversary see some trash over here I might be able to magnetize to all oh, it wanted to but he just had his one year anniversary so go give his channel a check out and give it some good now we pulled up something else a bit of piping I think yeah definitely what that is okay everybody right down there is a umbrella stand if we can get it yeah, no. Come back, come back. Know exactly what that is. It's an umbrella stand, and it's being stubborn. Where is the top? There is the top. I can see it smack right on there. You annoying. Go. That right, is an umbrella stand. I got one at home, so I know exactly what that was when I saw it. Okay, everybody, guess what? We have a boat dock we can hit here, and we can go over there and hit some boat docks too. So we're gonna hit this area for the moment and uh, see if we find anything. I'm curious to see if we pull anything up at this boat dock. You never know. But uh, if I do, we'll show you. There you go, y'all. Good look at that boat dock. All right, we'll be back. So we didn't find anything at this other dock. But I look over and I spotted, I believe, another whopper plopper. I don't know if this one's going to be any good, y'all. But it looks like another Amazon or Timu one. And we've got something right there in the water. We, you know we's gonna get our Whopper Plopper on. Yeah, that is what it is. Heck yeah. Um, let me see if I can work my way down. I don't know what that blue thing is. We're gonna try and get that too. Oh, that's in nice shape, too. <sighs> Look at that. It's one of the cheaper ones. That is to be for sure. But it is Team U. Ah, ah, no. Don't fall. Team U or Amazon, 100%. I spotted him over there in the dock. Let me see if I can grab this blue thing, and we'll see what that is. All right, we'll be back. We got that ball and little kid's chair into the trash. I'm gonna walk down here. Go down this uh, left side first, then we'll go down the right side. We'll hit everything and uh, see what we find, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna hit that bridge over there. And then, let's walk up here a second to try and get over these. We've got all those docks over there to hit. The dock that's right there, we can't hit. Um, but I don't, unless there's a sign over there that says we can't hit them, I'm, I'm going to drag them, see what we find. Uh, all right, I think we have a bottle cap. Yeah, we do. 
Corona. Corona. All right, we'll throw it up there with our clog, get it on our way out. Let's throw out right there. We're not throwing very far out. It's very rocky. Um, we'll see if we pull anything else here. Who knows? And uh, we'll show you. Okay, do I think anything's going to be at these four docks? Probably not. Let's see, how deep does we go? Probably not, but uh, you just never know, so. What we'll do. If we end up pulling something, I'll let you know. Alrighty, place your bets, place your bets. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? We just pulled this up. And... Maybe we might be able to use this to... Yeah, one of those made in China ones. We'll take it home. See if we can clean this up. I bet we can. Ooh, that wants to move. We found us a tool. Okay, we're here at this bridge, this little teeny tiny bridge. And we're standing off on the side to it. And yeah, we're going to see if we find anything. I don't know what could be in here. Possibly nothing. But we're going to cast out and see any which way. You never know. Someone could have tossed something off of here. Okay, everybody. I see a lure. Stuck. Hanging over this. Little soft bait lure worm. Good. Cool. Just a little soft bait wormy. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I don't see too much here. We're probably going to get going on to the next spot, which probably will have more. Um, I'm going to walk down this edge just to make sure I don't see anything else. And we'll get to going. All right, y'all. We'll be back. We've got one hard bait right there. There's a yellow bobber that has a soft bait dangling right there. Can't really see it that well from this angle. Um, I see a spinner bait right there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that one. This hard bait and that yellow bobber, possibly more. I'm not sure if it's spider webs or fishing string. Uh, we should be able to get those, I think. And we're going to hit this little area right here with our magnet. I don't see much of anything else, but we are going to try and have a look-see. And uh, I'm going to go get the claw and see if we can free these lures up. All right, we'll be back. Okay. We've been throwing out, and we have not even gotten scraps which is absolutely amazing to me. Because we normally get scraps and stuff. Last time we were here, we were getting scraps. I don't know. We're gonna get on to trying to get these lures now. Um, we'll see what happens with that, if I can even get those. All right, y'all. Good that it's clean. Good that it's clean, makes me happy. All righty, y'all. We managed to get this one very clean lure and check it out Rapala Ripstop 09 alright we're gonna pull out our tackle box there and throw all these lures we're finding into our tackle box There's that here's the whopper popper and the other ones and here's our wormy we found. Ooh, that's still attached it. Okay. We're gonna get further down, see if we find anything else. I can't believe there wasn't not a single thing we could magnet fish. That blows my mind. 
It really does. All right, we're casting out here. I just want to see if there ain't nothing over here we couldn't get. Uh, there is a lot of grass. So I don't know. Yeah. Okay, it is a little rooster tail, and a pretty one at that. Cool! All right, we're gonna get to moving on. Okay, everybody. I just wanted to show you all this awesome view. Oh, dragging that cart up a giant mountain is not fun. <laughs> but uh, this is a real pretty area and we're working our way down to a familiar spot that we've been to all right we'll be back okay everybody recognize this familiar spot yeah, this is where we walk to. And we're gonna see if we can find some lures, whatever else we can find. We're gonna throw out a couple times underneath the bridge. See if we pull anything new up. This is the first spot I ever really cleaned out. And uh, I don't come here often <laughs> anymore because I cleaned it out so good. But you never know, there might be something new there, so we'll check it out. All right, y'all. We'll be back. Okay. So, here's a hoping we find something. I think that's someone's spinner jig over there. We did pull up some trash out of the water. That was a Guggen Squad lure, plastic lure case. Oh. And uh, who knows, we might find some lures here. Kind of walk different ways, drag it different ways. Now I'm gonna throw my other glove back on while we're here. Be right back. Okay. Yeah, I thought about that for a second and in case we find bunch of sharp little things I truly do not want to have a bare hand and it's cold and I want my hand to stay dry we are gonna walk further down when this is not our final spot we're gonna check that one spot where we lost the one claw and see if we pull anything cool up there which I'm sure we will that spot is loaded do we have anything yeah, we do, we do. Ah, oh, we got top to the can. Big old boat. Oh, I found that big tube piece right there, that steel. Big old boat. A uh, littler bolt. And a bunch of crusty bits. All right, we're gonna throw out a couple times here, see what we pull up. Could find some cool stuff, so we'll see. All right, y'all, we'll be back. And on our next throw, we got one little lure. Be good. Always pinned. See, still good. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, this wiry bit, this chunky bit. We got a weight on there, a lure. Okay. We'll throw. Uh, he might be good. We'll set him with our rooster tail we found earlier. Get him into the tackle box later. A few bits go in there. 
And we'll throw it back out. We'll throw right over that way. All right. Let's see what else we get. All right. We got something on here. I don't know what it is. Uh, here. It's got a shiny part to it. Oh well, in the bucket stick goes. That's gonna be it on this spot. We're gonna get to walking down. What else we got on here? We got us a bottle cap. Too crunchy to tell what it is, bottle cap. Uh, another one of these pieces of weird wire. And a bunch of crunch. Okay, I just had to run through the woods. We're getting another salt water. Super spook by that. It was across the way and I saw it and I was like, that's a lure. And I realized I could go around to get it. And we got it. Cool. Let's have that with the other ones. Probably Toledo, y'all. I had to move fast through the woods. Oh, I gotta tie my shoes. Um, but yeah. That's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, it was up around this bend here. But we ain't doing that again. <laughs> that sucked. There's so many thorn vines through there. And I was trying to not leave my stuff unattended. We got a tire shoe. But on to the next find, y'all. Look at that, y'all. I can't get that. I can't even get that out of the water. That is a full-blown mattress. And I really hate that I can't get this. If anyone watching can get this, come get this, please. Looky, looky, y'all. We have another Whopper Plopper. Woo, I think it's an El Chapo or a River 2C. We'll find out in just a sec. Oh, yeah, it's a Berkeley Chapo 90. I call them El Chapos. I got a chrome one of the 90. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Another Whopper Plopper. Another one. Ah, and this thing came in clutch. I didn't have to struggle that hard for it. I'm doing an instructional video tomorrow. Keep me entertained while food's being cooked all day. So, well, I should be posting this video Thanksgiving. Bye, happy Thanksgiving, by the way, everybody. Uh, I kind of forgot, but uh didn't. And let's go. All right, y'all. We'll be back if we find more. Okay, y'all. You can get that. He's wrapped around the branch. I ain't never seen something like that before. All right. Let's go ahead. Get this out of the tree. You're gonna be stubborn, huh? We have a way of getting you out. There we go. There we go. Little white fluke. All right, y'all. We'll be back if we find more. Look at that. This one ain't even up in a tree. It's worn out, but we'll grab it. We see some a group of lures in a tree. They may not be worn out. We'll throw it in our uh, collection, ever growing collection. Um, we're gonna bring our magnet and claw over, and we're gonna try and see if we can get, without having to get into the water, these lures. Hopefully we can. I'm gonna look over this direction real quick, see if there's anything we can see. And then we'll get to magnet fishing and getting these lures. We're going to magnet fish first. All right, y'all. We'll be back. Okay. We found this lure. Sadly, the front of it's broke, but I don't know. I don't think that should affect anything. I'll have to ask around. I don't even know if this is an expensive one or just a cheap Amazon one, to tell you the truth. I've not seen that name before. 
So, who knows? What is it? B Zuri. That just sounds like one of those Chinese companies. We're in the water. Um, I'm not going to worry about those other lures that are there. I, there's no getting those. So, we're going to cast out here a little bit, see what we find. We're going to go to our other spot, see what we find there. And then uh, we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. We'll be back if we find something. All right, first find here, a bunch of rusty, crusty bits. I'm not going to show a bunch of rusty, crusty bits. But someone left a bucket here, which I guess they were using to clean up. We'll throw it in their bucket. And uh, we may just bring their... Oh, I don't know, I want to leave it in case they had to leave in a hurry or something and forgot it. And they're coming back. I don't know what they could be thinking. But... Uh, We'll throw out here a couple times. It doesn't seem like there's as much stuff, thankfully, uh, here. We just got something on the rope and the magnet. Some big metal chunk piece. And this in line with it. Give me one second, y'all. Come on. There we go. That's what they have on this bucket, is just tons of fishing line. But I wonder what's down there. A big old metal chunky piece. We'll throw next to that bucket. Got my stuff hidden in the bushes. I want to bring it all the way out here. So, let's throw out that way. And... Let's drag her on back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Looky, looky, what we have. Ah. Very nice. Does it got a name somewhere? Um, can't open this with... Men I don't see a name, but we got us a multi-tool. And a little one at that. Pretty cool. All right. That is saveable. Hundo percento. We'll throw that in there. What else do we got on here? Just some scrap pieces. That's a piece of barbed wire. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see what else we find. Heck yeah. Just wanted to show you what somebody did. I don't know if it was the City Oak Ridge. Someone came out and carved this themselves. Neat little bridge thing. They made so you could cross over real quick. So we didn't find anything else next to the dock there. So we got the really cool good find, which is a little multi-tool. I've been looking over on that side to see if I could see any lures. All I'm seeing is uh, bobbers and hooks where I can't reach them, and I'm just annoyed about it. One day I'm going to have to, like, solely devote to hunting bobbers and hooks. Um, I don't really try to mess with them because sometimes they're so dry rotted, and whether they're styrofoam or plastic, uh, when I try to mess with them, they end up breaking apart and falling apart. And then I have created a bigger mess. Or they end up falling in the water where I can't get to them. And they float away. So I try not to really mess with them. Unless they're like that bobber right there. Where it's sitting in the water. And easy for us to get. So I can just pick them up like that. And... Most of the time they're no good. Sometimes they are. This one's probably no good. There might be. All right, if I find anything, I shall show you all. All right, those are some of our cool finds, the lures. We got that uh, tool right there. And uh, I took out the stuff we'd already seen in there. But uh, we got some bobbers. I got some other tackle, like bobbers and stuff I'll need to throw in here. 
Two whopper ploppers, y'all. Heck yeah. Alrighty. So I'm going to take a break. Uh, drink some water. And try to relax a second before we walk to Edgemore. Um, I did this once before where I walked to Edgemore. And uh, it really sucked because I was carrying a backpack. And believe it or not, it would be a hundred times easier doing it this way. So we're going to take a break. And we will be back, hopefully, at Edgemore. All right. We'll see you here in just a second, boy. We made it in record timing. Let's see what we can find. Lures and magnet fishing. We're gonna see if there's any new lures on this side. Then we're gonna walk over to the docks, do some magnet fishing. Then we're gonna see if we get any new lures or anything over there. All right, we shall be back. Okay. Finally made it. We're gonna magnet fish this spot right here where we pulled out cell phone last time. And see if, ooh, caught on a nail, we can pull up anything else. We already had a really spectacular day, so if we don't pull anything else up, that's okay. Let's see, do we have anything on here? Crunchy bits and more crunchy bits. Okay. Find anything, we'll get back. Alrighty, we just pulled this good wormy out of a tree. This hooks good and everything. We're gonna get on and just look in the trees as we go and we're gonna try and make it to the boat ramp. Okay. We see us another lure hanging right there. We're gonna get it. We'll be back if we get it. Uh, it's a... It'll focus. It says, yo... Zum, F. Pretty cool, it's got dots, silver, and it's pink. All right, on to the next one. Okay, we're gonna throw out here. We found on the way, walking over here, a Luke still there and its thing and this squishy cat cool all righty we're just going to toss out here until a ride gets here and uh, see what happens may find something cute might not you never know with this spot I almost Wonder if we'll find some tools again. We seem to find tools a lot of times. We come here. Yeah, we got all kinds of bits on here. We got a lure, some nails, a bolt. Cool. We'll throw all this stuff. That lure is toast. We'll throw all this stuff in here. We're gonna dump that in the trash can once my ride shows up. And. Something right there. No, it must be just some trash or something. We're gonna drop our magnet right there. And oof. Work it around. See if we can get it to go underneath this sucker. And uh, see if we get anything doing that from this side. We did last time going from the other side. Let's see if we do this time coming from this side. Always a good thing to try. Uh, Outdoor Angel Lynn showed me this one of getting under the docks. Well, we might have something on there. We do? What is that? Uh, give me a second, y'all. Oh, cool. We got a clamp doing that. Ooh, it don't work no more. Yep. Sealed up shot, probably uh, for a boat. That's what we have on there other than that. Yeah, we'll do it from this side too. Cool. We'll be back. I believe we have another tool. I think this is a spanner. 
Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Looks good enough to use. All we got is crunchy bits other than that. It's a husky one. Tell by that Y that's right there. There you go, husky. Yeah. Cool. We're doing all right with tools today. I don't find that many. And this is our tool spot, and we just pulled up another one. Heck yeah. Um, we pulled something up from way out there. I think it's a bubbler. Or no. It's a hard drive. Toshiba hard drive. That's what it says. Oh, for frick's sake, thing. Weird. Well, good to get that out of the water. I wish I knew I could turn it into the cops. I would. Anything else of interest on our magnet? Okay. Okay, everybody, we made it home, and uh, we had something waiting in the mail for us, something we've been waiting for a minute for. Buddy Biggs sent us our sticker pack. Uh, Shay from Discovering Dorset won a sticker pack and told Buddy to give it to me instead, and it went back to him once already, because I think I gave him the wrong area code, and... Uh, they sent it back to him, and I got him the right area code, and he sent it to us. And it says, Gin Magnet Fishers. Hey, David. It was so kind of Shay to donate this sticker pack to you so that you can get your collection going. Congrats, buddy. Awesome. And he gave us a Burkle Seracoding sticker. We got a Johnny's uh, card. Metal Detecting Brooklyn, a Buddy's Bigs Adventure sticker. It's an awesome sticker, Buddy. Uh, Brewers Prospecting, a Johnny's Corner sticker, a Kratos sticker. I'm a brute magnetics user, but hey, Kratos magnets stickers, cool. Maddie's Nifty Creations. Ooh, the new. Or is that? That might be the old one. Pops Magnet Fishing. I think it's Pops Outdoors and Magnet Fishing now. Mad Mag Magnet Fishing Bucky! And then a Johnny's Corner sticker. Very awesome. Go give a... Buddy Biggs Adventures. I'll go look at. I'll put him and Topath in the uh, description and go check out these other channels that are in the stickers too that I showed you. Uh, really awesome channels. Really good people. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm exhausted. Uh, we had come home. I had to eat, sit and edit this video up, and uh, do this outro. My phone almost died, so I couldn't do the outro out there. Um, found a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool lures. We walked five point something miles, probably three or two and a half miles from uh, our regular fishing dock spot. It was 5.2 from where we started, so... Long walk, but we found lots of good stuff. And I uh, got to go look at a lot of areas we haven't been to in a minute. So, hope you all are doing well. If you're not doing well, I hope you get to do them well real soon. And if you like what you see, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Makes my day when y'all do. And you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And we'll catch you all in the next one.
and happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy some turkey. Boy.